This is how you can play workshop maps inside of CS2. I talked a little bit about this in my few previous videos on the channel, but I haven't showed you exactly how you do it. So this is the exact step-by-step -step process that you have to follow in order to be able to play workshop maps inside of CS2. We'll get into it after I show you today's sponsor. SkinSwap is an instant CSGO trading site where you can also instantly sell your skins and get money in your bank account, PayPal or Bitcoin from SkinSwap themselves. And they're giving you a free sign up bonus today if you sign up with the link in the description as well as a 40% deposit bonus on the site. So whether you want to get rid of some CSGO skins in your inventory and get some money in your pocket or trade your old boring skins for some new flashy once skin swap is there for you all right so you're gonna have to be in the games main menu to start this process simply go to the settings menu press on game settings and then go and enable this option right here which says install counter-strike workshop tools after you've done this you can go ahead and close the game after you've done that steam will go ahead and install the cs2 workshop tools and after the installation is done you're gonna have to go to your steam library and go launch CS2 from over there so that when you press play, this window appears and gives you the option to launch the game in the Counter-Strike 2 Workshop Tools mode. Now, before we actually launch the game in this mode, we want to put the map that we're going to be playing for practice in our CS2 Maps folder. So, I have a link in the description of this video for this Mediafire file that you can go and download. This is the Aimbots map from Uletical. So you can go to the Mediafire link and download it. Once you've downloaded it, extract the VPK file. This is the map file. Once you've got this VPK file, you'll need to go to your Counter-Strike 2 folder on Steam. I believe we can do this by going to Properties, Installed Files, Browse. Yes, and this opens up the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder. From here, we go to Game, CSGO, then maps now you can go ahead and take your vpk file that you downloaded the aimbots vpk file drop it in here into the maps folder and now we can go ahead and launch the game in the workshop tools mode just press play workshop tools mode play and it's gonna launch in this mode now after this window pops up just click this button right here it will launch the game and now the game for you might launch in window mode with weird graphic settings or something but I've personally launched the game before, so I've changed my settings to the ones that I prefer. It's not a big deal. Just go ahead and change your settings. Apply the ones that you like. Now that you're here, you can go ahead and open up the console, the in-game console. This is it right here. It's going to look weird like this. It's all because you've launched the game in this mode. And now in this command line over here, you're going to type map and then the name of the map that you inserted into your folder. So in my case, it's going to be aimbots. The option is right there. Press enter and it's gonna launch the map. But now you can see we're here inside of CS2 in this map, but this is the best you can do right now. This is how you're gonna be able to play workshop maps inside of CS2. There is no official integration in the game of CS2, unfortunately, so you gotta jump through hoops to get this done. But thankfully, we can still do with playing our workshop maps this way because at least we can do our training so i hope i've helped some of you guys today definitely leave a like on the video if you found it useful so we can reach more people and help them out with this issue of not having workshop maps integrated into the game officially but anyways thanks for watching the video and i'll see you tomorrow peace